This Sarge is here making his debut here at Nowhere Manor, and he's in the mood to fight. That's why it's no surprise that he'd bring with him Fight Night for the Atari 7800, which basically looks like you're going to be boxing big pieces of white paper. Hmm, that should be fun. Let's go ahead and take Fight Night, pop it in my Atari 7800 Pro system, and see how it holds up. Let's go to the game. Fight Night was published by Atari and carries a copyright year of 1988. It is based on the 1985 Accolade computer game and was most likely published by Atari in response to the popularity of Mike Tyson's Punch-Out on the NES. Fight Night is also not related to the Fight Night series published by Electronic Arts many years later. Fight Night is for one or two players, with the single player mode only having one standard mode of difficulty. Fight Night has four modes of play, Main Event, Training, Sparring, and Tournament. In the Main Event, you take the role of the clean cut Crazy Craven. Your goal is to defeat the other 11 boxers in the game ending with the powerhouse named Mike Bison. Hmm, I wonder how they ever came up with that name. In the training, you basically just practice the controls against a punching bag. There are two modes for training. In the first mode, you follow the directions of the computer, and in the other, you are free to practice any moves you want in any order you choose. The sparring mode is more or less a practice fight where you can pick any fighter you want to use and fight against. The tournament mode is a multiplayer mode where you set up brackets with any boxers you wish and fight it out to see who winds up on top. The controls are pretty unique in the game and only use one button. They are based on a combination of joystick moves and whether or not you are holding down the button. When you are not holding down the button, pressing left or right will move your fighter in that direction. Pressing up will guard your face and pressing down on the joystick will guard your body. When you're holding down the button, pressing up will throw a jab to the face and pressing down will throw a body blow. You can also fake a jab by pressing left and fake a body blow by pressing right. One thing that many players may not realize is that by holding the button down while holding up or down will cause your boxer to continuously punch so there's no need to continuously press the button. Each match consists of three rounds. There is a bar for each fighter that if it fills up will cause the fighter to get knocked out. When a fighter is knocked out, whether it is the player or the computer, they will never get up. So essentially this is a single knockout game. If neither boxer is knocked out after three rounds, the game is decided by points. You earn points for successful punches and blocks, however the points can vary depending on which boxer you are facing and where you hit them. There is a chart in the back of the manual that details this for you. Graphically speaking, the arena you fight in is very sparse, but I actually like the cartoony look of the fighters, including some humorous ones when they get punched. The sounds of the game, however, are very basic, but at least they weren't annoying. Family friendly wise, you do have cartoony boxing violence, and some sensitive players might be offended by some of the characters looking like cultural stereotypes. On eBay, loose copies were going for $7 to $10. There was one new copy that sold for $10 and another new copy that sold for $29, and those prices include shipping. So what did I think of Fight Night? Well, I really like the cartoony look, even though half the boxers are just palette swaps of the original set of boxers, but I wish I could have picked my own fighter for the main event. I also felt like winning the matches was more luck than skill, and to make matters worse, the computer opponent was allowed to throw special punches that delivered a large amount of damage, but you cannot. Because of this, a few matches into the game, I found it nearly impossible to beat my opponent, even if I landed more punches. In the end, I had no desire to keep on playing because of this. So where am I going to rank Fight Night? Well, it's going to be pretty low. I'd rather play it than some of the other sport games on the system like Touchdown Football and Real Sports Baseball, but I did like Hattrick a little bit more since I can actually win at that game, so I'm going to make Fight Night my new number 37 ranked game for the Atari 7800. Fight Night for the 7800 fails to go to distance. If you enjoy retro related videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons. You can now support the show through Patreon as well. Just go to patreon.com slash gamer. Thank you for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of the Gamer. Take care and go play some Mike Tyson's Punch-Out instead of this one.